Hello, vinyl community. George Allen here. Vinyl LPs and CDs. And we are going to be showing my latest acquisitions. Some stuff I've picked up over the last week or two. And it's got some good stuff here, I hope. I'm going to start off with one that's taken me a while to get. I ordered it and um, from Acoustic Sounds, and when I did, I didn't realize it was um, one that was, I can't remember, it was, showed up as out of stock or it was a pre-order. But anyhow, they sent it out, uh, Federal Express, ground and Federal Express ground sometimes it can take several weeks because it will sit in one of their regional facilities for a week or two but finally it came Ricky Kelly now Ricky Kelly I was unfamiliar with but he was a, he's a vibraphonist and I do love vibraphonists and uh, this looks really from interesting and uh, this is our uh, analog limited edition audio file remaster by pure pleasure and this is dump made in the UK so when I read that description I thought not only is a vibraphonist but this sounds like it's going to be a very well done pressing and should sound really good. So, Ricky Kelly. I'm familiar with him, and but there's a songs on here by Herbie Hancock, by um, Bobby Hutcherson, and so this should be a plus some that he wrote himself. Should be a, looking forward to listening to this. Just finally got it the other day. Another one, Blue Note, Art Taylor, AT's Delight, with Dave Burns on trumpet, Stanley Turrentine, tenor sax, Wynton Kelly piano, Paul Chambers bass, Art Taylor on drums, and Potato Valdez on conga. 180 gram vinyl. Looks pretty good, don't it? How about that? Anytime I can find a drummer leading the band, I like to pick them up. This looks like a real good one, don't you think? Excited to hear that. Oh, and of course, this is another hot one for all you bass players. Marcus Miller, double album, laid back. This is fairly new, and I'm looking forward to hearing this one. Didn't open it, so not sure who else is playing I, with him on this. I read it when I ordered it, but that was a few weeks ago, and I am not sure at this point who else is on here with him. Didn't crack it open yet, and I'm not going to do it on this video. We'll all be left to guess. But I'll probably do a review on some of these down the road. Now I got this. Why are we vinyl? Miles Davis, Jack Johnson. I got this because I've had Jack Johnson on CD for a while, but I thought I'd really like to have it on vinyl because I really love this album a lot. And um, I just really wanted to have this on vinyl. So I got it on vinyl. Had a, got a very good deal on it. And I thought I'd really like to have this on vinyl. Miles Davis, Jack Johnson. And speaking of Miles Davis, Bop in the Blues. With Miles, Gene Amons on sax. Connie Wainwright on guitar. Linton Garner on piano. Tommy Parter on bass, 
Art Blakey on drums. How about that? This is an oldie. Eric Coleman, vocal. And Ann Baker on vocal. Hmm. This, I think, is going to be a classic. I think I got a good deal on this, too. And it's on uh, Black Lion Records. Essential Reissue Series. Looks pretty interesting. Here's one that took a long time to get because this is from um, the, the Crates Midnight Afternoon by the Lagoons. And when I get these things through the Crates, they send you out a demo of some of the tracks then they try and get enough people to invest in it to actually press it and the lagoons sounded very interesting it's these two fellas here but that was almost a year ago and I don't remember what it sounded like but I thought that sounds pretty decent I'd buy that album so by the time they get enough money to do it it gets pressed, packaged, sent to you. It takes almost a year. Can you believe it? So I just got it now, about a week ago or so. So I'll, I'll be looking forward to hearing what this sounds like. I hope I still like it. Last but certainly not least, May Group uh, featuring... May Lease, the bass player. I have this on CD. I got it uh, maybe two months ago. Saw an article about this group in Downbeat Magazine. May Group. May Lease is a bass player. She originally started studying over in Estonia and then Sweden on violin, switched the bass, ended up touring with Jackson Brown and a whole bunch of other people. Fabulous, fabulous talent. Wonderful music. Kind of a fusion jazz rock sound. And um, just love her music. She has some videos on YouTube. You can see their band playing. Uh, great music. And uh, see the song on here. Uh, one song she does with featuring David Crosby on vocals. Another song featuring Charles Lloyd. Great music. I highly recommend her stuff. Very, very good. This is her third album. So, May Group. That's all I got for right now. So, I got a lot of new stuff to listen to. How about that? Very happy with this stuff. I got some other stuff coming in. Some older reissued stuff. But, uh, save that for some other day. Okay. Okay, alrighty folks. Thanks for watching and listening. Listen... Hit the subscribe and like and all that other stuff. I'm not begging, but uh, have a great day. Bless you all.